bleeding these transits. The Mark 6s and the Mark 7s are pretty much the exact same design. Now, they're very. I find these transits very, very reliable, but they do get stupid problems occasionally. These stupid problems tend to lead to fueling issues or non-start, you know, crank and no start, um, or hunting idle, things like that. And usually, the diesel system has to be tampered with, and if it has to be tampered with, you have to re-bleed it every time. So, I went and bought myself one of these. Now, you can just get... You can find somewhere to put it to start with. Right. <laughs> I went and bought myself one of these. All you need really is this, which is the bleeding bulb. But this has got like a valve on it and all these adapters so you can use it on different vehicles and all the rest of it. Now, the... I don't know what happened there, that was weird. The, um, the bleeding bulb will have a direction, so when you're pumping it, it's drawing fuel one way. So you've got your filter housing in here and this pipe which runs down to the fuel pump. So you've got your two pipes. I don't know if you can see, hold on, let me get a better angle. You've got your two pipes there on the left hand side of the filter housing. There's two on the others, but ignore that, they're going to tank. The black one, usually black, will be your return line, usually smaller. And this one, which is usually white and thicker, will be your fuel line, which runs down to the pump. Just goes into the pump, that's your inlet for fuel there. So what I do, there is different ways of doing it but I, I have my own method, and a lot of people I find use this method anyway. You just take that pipe off and you put the bleeding bulb in between the filter housing, and of course, the arrow on the bulb, if there is one, will be facing to go towards the pump because it's wanting to bring the fuel up and towards the pump, um, and into the pipe. So it goes from the filter housing into the pipe. Um, and the reason I do that is so that you don't put the pipe back on and then there's air in the pipe and it causes trouble, which some people will go straight to the pump. I'd, that'd be dull in my mind, but there we go. Now, it is best if you've got a serious no crank problem and you're getting no fuel at all to fill the filter with diesel before you put it on. And in fact, you can try that before doing any of this if you really want to. But these things have saved me loads of money. The amount of times I've had vehicles playing up and all the rest of it, I bled it and it started instantly. I know that it's that filter housing leaking air. Um, or it could be that I have had one time where it was the return lines on the top of the injectors. And I had just done injector seals, so it made sense. But yeah, that's a nice basic little introduction into bleeding these systems. They are a pain, especially if they're self-bleed systems. This is a Euro 4 self-bleed system, and they're a nightmare. And sometimes you can spend a good 15-20 minutes getting them to draw all the air out of the system if for some reason it's returned to tank. If it has returned to tank, it could be just the fact that you've parked on a hill and you've got a, an old system, but usually it's because of an air leak. Well, any scenario is because of an air leak. You should be able to park these things upside down and the fuel will stay because they should be like vacuumed, I guess, where the fuel doesn't move once it's off. So yeah, that's a little guide. I'd advise getting one of these kits if you want to do it properly, but you can just go and buy, I mean, you can probably buy one of the little bleeder bulbs for a fiver or something ridiculous and just shove some pipes on but because these have got the correct connections these press on connections and everything your chances of bleeding the air out without dragging more in are very high but i mean i've done it before with just a pipe and some cable ties it does work they don't have to be 100 percent bled to start but realistically speaking that's what you want now, if you bleed it and you've definitely got fuel there and your rail pressure is coming up over 2,600 PSI when you're cranking and it's still not firing, then it means your injectors are not being told to turn on. And usually a no-fire um, problem will be crank position sensor. And that's a nightmare to get to, so you better hope it's not that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the basics on bleeding these.